Uh, hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome back to another edition of Coffee with Ian. Ooh, I made French press, French press this morning. Quite delightful, I have to admit. It, uh, it makes a good, strong cup of coffee. Although I think I might need to tone, doc, tone but down the number of beans I've been putting in the coffee, because it's been hella strong. Not that I, not that I mind that, but it's been uh, maybe stronger than it should be almost. I don't know. I'm not a coffee connoisseur in the sense that I'm like I'm not like I don't measure the beans. Well, that's not true. I do measure the beans out, but I uh, I like the strong coffee. So I guess I should. I do like strong coffee, but there's a certain point where you end up making coffee that's a little bit too strong, and then what will happen is you're like drinking the coffee, you're like, you know, it hits you like a brick wall, it hits, it hits you like a, a freight train, for example, and you're just like, wow, that's uh, hella strong. Or what will happen is you make it so strong that you actually reduce some of the flavoring in it. So I think that's what I've been doing lately uh, with my uh, with my coffee there. So. I may have to tone that down a little bit. Good news, everyone. Before I forget, uh, John Deere has officially, not officially, I should say Giants has officially released the reveal trailer for uh, uh, E3, I think it was. And within that reveal trailer, John Deere was revealed as one of the new brands coming to uh, Giant Software uh, Farming Simmer 20, or not Farming Simmer 19, which is epic. So as I mentioned a couple videos prior to this one, if you haven't seen them, uh, I hope that they have you know some of the new stuff, like the biggest tractor they got, or the biggest one they have, the 95, I think it's the 9560 RX. Let me verify that one moment, 9560 RX. Uh, is that the right one? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, why am I getting, I'm getting all farm sim mods, strangely enough. Uh, maybe it's a different version of it, John Deere. Uh, John Deere, oh, I don't know why that's even coming up with a Deere.com four wheel drive track 9570. It looks like <clears throat> 9560 is a mod, and that's that's uh United States. Uh, let's see if they come up with in Canada. Da, 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 da. Uh, they just have tractors, but yeah, actually, there's a couple uh, some of the dealerships. There's a couple of places where they actually had uh, I think it was a 9560 or 9760, something like that. Anyways, so hopefully they have that in FS19. I'll be pumped to see that. And hopefully they add uh, wide tracks and narrow row crop tracks uh, on that. That'll be really cool to see. And then my other complete opposite spectrum would be, I hope they also put in some of the older John Deere tractors. So like 4440, uh, 4020 or 3120, something like that. Uh, 4230, something, one of, the, one of the, some of the older ones, maybe from 70s, 80s, somewhere in there. Uh, not a lot, like maybe one or two. But the best thing about this is the fact that this will give a platform for the modders to start from. Because what's been happening for a lot of the John Deere mods over time has been, uh, like, let's say one amazing John Deere mod was made for one of the FS games. Let's say, I think, FS 13 was probably one of some of the really amazing ones were. And then a lot of the mods after that, if they were the same model, they would use that initial work as the framework for the new one. And sometimes it's very obvious. And sometimes it... Um, Sometimes it's not, but sometimes it's very obvious. You're like, wow, this model looks like it's from FS13. So if you go back and look at some of the mods from FS13, let's see here. Uh, where would I go to get some mods? Uh, let's see what they have here just for FS13. Uh, I don't know if they have it listed here still. Let's see. Uh, can I go back to FS13 on FS-UK? Uh, I don't think I even can. Anyways, but FS dash UK used to be the place to be uh, for 13 because you would have um, you would have like NI modding was doing stuff at that time and they did some amazing I think internationals uh, and they also had some oh, there some, were some amazing John Deere's at that time too and what's happened was some of those mods some people have just taken them updated them for the new game uh, and then released them so in some cases it has been good in other cases it has been kind of like not great this is the mod i was looking for the other day grazing animals um i, I think i was watching Daggerwind's video or something like that i was just skimming through one of his videos and i happened to hear this and this is what the description of this particular mod is let your sheep and cows graze freely in the pastures to enjoy fresh grass 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 throughs i think they mean troughs 
<laughs> That's why it doesn't make sense. Grass troughs will be filled automatically to 80%, 6% when using seasons, every hour as long as grass exists in the meadow. When walking, when walking in the sheep and cow pastures, the grass will be shown in the top left menu. This mod requires map preparation. Oh, uh, that sucks. But that is a sit. I wonder, and realism modding. Oh, okay, so that's, that's <laughs> it was released three weeks ago. Where have I been? Goodness gracious. Anyway, so that's one of the big, <laughs> just, that was what I was looking for. I was like, oh, which one has that? Maybe it's Emerald Coast USA. What's this one? Does this one, who released this one? CC 101. Now I gotta take a look for this grazing mod and all this maps. Oh gosh. One more to look at. Anyways, so John Deere has been released, and also secondarily, uh, cotton has been announced as one of the second, uh, one of the new crop types. Uh, so they'll have some equipment associated with cotton planting and cotton harvesting, which is pretty slick because I know, Donald, you've been waiting for that for ages now. Um, so it would be pretty cool. Well, not just Donald, uh, but a lot of other people have been. So it's been one of those things that people have been waiting for. I'm like, oh, hey, when's this going to come out? When, when is Giants going to release their version of this? So I'm happy to say that they actually have released it. Um, we don't harvest cotton in Canada. Um, just on the climate for it, basically. If, maybe there is some place, but as far as I know, based on my knowledge, they don't. we don't harvest cotton here at all. Um, so I'm not, super, I'm not as jazzed as other people for cotton, just because it doesn't, it's not something I see around my area. You know, when soybeans came out, I was pretty jazzed about that. Sunflowers, we don't see as much here either. You can do it, but... Most people don't do it because you, usually you need like specialized equipment for, or at least to adjust some of the corn equipment for uh, sunflowers. And I don't know how big the market is for sunflower seeds around here or sunflower oil for that matter. So anyways, so you mean, so I was pumped for that, but cotton, I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. I would like to see oats as a main, another crop you can uh, add in the game as well. Would be pretty slick. Uh, what would be another good one to see? Alfalfa in the grasses would be pretty neat as well. So something like that would be pretty cool. So we'll see. So, so far, John Deere, that's pretty slick. Uh, I'm pretty pumped about that already. Cotton, also pretty slick about, uh, pretty good about that. I'm pretty happy, I should say. So those are the big things that are happening in FS19. So pretty jazzed about that. I've, uh, before uh, FS19, they released any information. I was kind of like, okay, that's going to be kind of cool. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll release some new stuff, you know, a rehash of some of the older stuff. But no, this was kind of be kind of neat. Now, ultimately, having John Deere in there is just going to be another another piece of equipment you can use and in the end it's just going to be all the same so it depends if you're a deer person or if you're a case person you're going to use what you like and what the mod or which one you like better so we'll, we'll see what they release in there so but like I said I hope they release 95 97 9760 the biggest you know the articulated one that John Deere's got just to contend with the case quad track that they have in there I'm like I really like the case quad track actually they've done a really good job on that particular uh, model in the game so I hope they do equally good job on the new stuff so that's what I'll be jazzed about. And also, I believe, uh, what are they talking about? Fent, the newest Fent uh, Combine, I think they're actually going to add in the game too. So that's pretty slick. <laughs> so those are, that's the big that happened in uh, in Farm Sim Land. Uh, moving on to another game. There's actually been quite a few different games that have had some updates. Uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild, the Geese update has been released. It's a little bit of a shaky start on that one. So I would... Uh, you know, give it a week or so before you pick up the DLC. Uh, before you kind of get into really get into the geese hunt, get goose hunting, I guess it would be, or geese hunting. I don't know. Anyways, how do we want to say it? Into hunting geese. There we go. We'll say it that way uh, because it's been a shaky start. There's been since the release of the goose or the geese update. There's been like a patch, I guess. There's been a couple post patches because it was not very good. So they put down. Uh, you can put down decoys. And they added a new blind and a new shotgun. Uh, the blind and shotgun, and I think the decoys are from the DLC. Let me check that actually. I forget what actually comes in that DLC now. Um, I want to see the DLC, please, for this game, and I want to see what is in here. Yeah, so the, you get the shotgun in that update, and you also get uh, the shotgun, the 20 gauge shotgun, and then you get the decoys and the field camo lie down. Um, uh, blind in that one so that's the one that's the other thing you get in there so interesting little fact though uh, so far this has been a mixed review on this particular 62 60 reviews have been done and it's mixed and that's because it's been such a shaky start for them on this and they're really trying to patch it to make sure it's working um, as good as it can Go goose don't work 
keep getting errors more structure these kind of not allowed um, so that's the that's the thing so I would if you're gonna if you're interested in that and you want to get to so let me say this the goose update is free the DLC with the decoys and the blinds and the extra shotgun are not but you can still hunt geese without uh, without any without the DLC at all so anyways and then the other game that had the update too so I, p I picked up the uh, wild goose chase gear uh, I got that and I also got uh, that DLC and I got the Mexico DLC for Railway Empire so I might be hitting some of that up the next week maybe we'll have another rail week next week and I'll play a little bit more of Railway Empire in Mexico so anyhow and um, also, in other news, apparently I'm talkative today. <laughs> in other news, I did. I was looking at a. I was scoping out some video cards, uh, and it looks like a EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 for the win gaming ACX 3.0 8 gigabyte GDDR5 RX RGB LED yada 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 um, is a little tiny bit on sale, 10% on sale on Amazon apparently. So I was kind of eyeing that up because I've been getting annoyed with my current video card and its lack of performance so and also from what I understand this is going to be the the uh, right now you know, like what's happened with the prices of video cards is they've dropped and then for now it's low but it may go back up again so I know 1080, 1080 uh, is ridiculous for uh, farm sim but when you're playing farm sim and you're recording farm sim or playing let's say Hunter Call of the Wild and recording it that's where you're into problems at least that's where I have as of late so that is one of my uh, what was my let's just see if I can bring that up real quick here so I still have this build uh, I'll just ram it off here real quick Intel i7 uh, 7700 K uh, core processor 4.2 gigahertz cooler master hyper 2 to 212 Evo 8.2 CFM sleeve bearing CPU cooler MSI Z270 that's what I'm not sure about I need to double check that one Corsair Vengeance 16 gigabytes of RAM and then 1080 for the win video card is the one I was looking at and uh, EVGA Supernova G2 750 watt uh, 80 plus gold certified modular ATX power supply so that's what I was looking at I think it's actually gone up so according to what this says right here it's 1767.41 for that build and I already have the case and hard drives and everything so I don't need to worry about that but I would need to reinstall Windows though because of the new yeah it's gonna be a pain I may have to buy Windows too we'll see anyways that's by the build that's I built that one a while back and uh, there were I forgot some couple made some suggestions on that one uh, a while back so I have to go back through my tweets and see what uh, people have said about that so anyways I'm going to sign off now folks my name is Ian Robson I hope you enjoyed and until next time enjoy the coffee Oh, French press. <laughs>